Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my July book haul. July book haul. We're in August, so yeah, my July book haul. And, um... I don't have as many books because, I, as I mentioned before, I don't request as many books or I don't approve to review so many books just because I know I'm not going to read half the books that they send me. And I normally would just accept them just because they would send me the invites. But now I'm being very particular about the books that I receive. So, yeah, there's only one book that I purchased. Yes, and it's not even like a Christian book. It's actually a coloring book that I got. From Walmart because I actually love this um, artist. Her name is Kersby Ross. Ross. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but you guys have probably seen these kind of um, Colormorphia coloring books before. This one is called the Colormorphia. Um, I think it was Anamorphia and some other ones. Um, but I, I really do just like the um, Morphia coloring book kind of line. Her books are the ones that really. Um, I guess kind of sparked an interest interest with adult coloring books. Um, so these are like finished books. This is kind of like an anniversary books that anniversary coloring book that combines all of her other books together. So they pick a few images from each of her books. I can't remember how many there are. I know there's Anamorphia, which is like the major one that came out. But um, yeah, they included some images that were already done, like this one and this one here. But some of them are not done so that you can do them on your own. You have this one here. You guys can see. So they literally just show the different people um, coloring her books. This right here is just so pretty to me. So, so pretty. Um, and someone might come on my channel and say, oh, that's not Christian based. But it's okay because it's pretty to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Pretty much you just go through and color images she has images of like dinosaurs with like other dinosaurs inside it's very very intricate very intricate but i just i love it so i can't wait to dive into this coloring book i do love coloring i have a lot of coloring books adult coloring books of course and um they just help me when i don't want to do anything pretty much so moving on i have three christian nonfiction books and i am dressed i do have on a dress um it is a tube top dress but it's you know, I'm in the house, I'm relaxing, and um, I have on the show, so let me put my brush to the side. But I got three books um, that are Christian nonfiction for review um, for the month of July. I do have books here. I have about five or six books here that I've gotten so far for August, but I'm going to save those for August. But um, the first book is from Bethany House, and this is The Most Important Stories of the Bible, Understanding God's Word Through the Stories It Tells by Christopher D. Hudson and Stan Campbell. You guys, I can't even remember because the thing, okay, the thing with Bethany House is they send you things a month in advance, but you don't get your books until like a month later or somewhere between two and a half to four weeks later. So by the time I get the books, I don't remember what they're about. Um, it, it isn't until I go into my email and open up the email and realize, oh, I did request the book. So yeah, th that's the one thing I don't like is that they take forever for your like your review books to arrive and by the time you remember what it is you're just like what now with their fictional books i don't have a problem because it's fictional but like with their christian non-fictions i do tend to forget so i'm not even gonna sit here and say that i know what it's about but i know that it interests me because it talked about the favorite stories of the bible it says all your favorite stories from the bible and why they matter to you perhaps you've heard of the exciting adventures of david and goliath noah or daniel in the lion's den which we've all heard of, heard of those but um they just talk about um the key stories in the scriptures and things like that so the font is so tiny oh my gosh tiny font tiny tiny font so i know this is going to be a quick read nothing too extensive oh that's really nice wow they they really go in depth you guys okay so they talk about the beginnings which is creation adam and eve the fall cain and abel noah and the flood the tower of babel then they talk about the patriarchs then they talk about Israel's family becoming a nation. They talk about the kings and... I mean, you guys can see. So that's probably why the font is tiny because they didn't probably want this to be like a massive book. But um, 
it pretty much is going through the entire Bible and giving you the essential portions of it and breaking it down, which I think is so cool. So I'm actually excited that I did request this. And even though I don't really remember what it's about, I'm glad I have it in my stash. So we have this book. The next book I got from B&H Books. Um, I think for that month, I only got two things. Um, I got a planner, which you'll see a review on that planner next. Well, I don't even know when this video was going up. So I'm actually going to try to have this video up for Saturday. So it'll be Saturday when you watch this video. So hopefully the review on that planner will be up the following Tuesday. But <laughs> it's, um, they didn't have a lot of books. They had like a lot more books geared towards men. This was the only book that kind of interests me. It's 41 Deposits, Crucial Conversations for Fathers and Sons by Steve Graves. And um, like I said, they had a lot more things geared towards men. But this, for some reason, interests me because I thought it was interesting. I don't I mean it's it's life lessons or life deposits, as they say it. Um, and it's just on different things. So staying pure, fearing God, um, picking good friends, loving people, receiving help, getting married, building a family, thinking ahead, developing perseverance. Um, resisting temptation how to worship god i mean it is geared towards men but when it comes to books based on base for men and base for women it doesn't bother me i have maybe about 10 or 15 books in my collection that are geared towards men and i enjoy reading those type of books even though they're geared towards men i do tend to get some little nuggets for myself and i do have a son um and if you guys are new to my channel i do have a son i'm 28 years old i look like a baby i know but i do have a five-year-old son um, his father and I are still together, but, um, I am more of the church goer, if you will. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but I'm the one that's like in church heavily. Um, so I don't mind reading books like this just to give my son little nuggets here and there. Um, and even for myself, and I know a lot of men do watch my channel anyway, so I figured why not grab this book? It interests me enough to get it. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Okay, so the next book is by Dee Breston, and I absolutely love her writing and the way she builds her kind of Bible studies. Now, what I have is an ARC. This book did release on July 23rd, so you can pick it up if you're interested. But it's called The Jesus Who Surprises, and it is opening our eyes to his presence in all of life in scripture. Basically, she's going through Genesis, Psalms, and I believe Isaiah. Yeah, and she's basically showing us Jesus within those scriptures, because I know a lot of the times, especially for me when I was younger... Um, we would read the Old Testament and not understand where Jesus was. Now, being older and more mature in my faith, I can now read the Old Testament and see Jesus in a lot of these people, such as Moses and David. We all know the story of David and Goliath, and a lot of the times when people in churches are preaching David and Goliath, they tell us to be like David. They tell us we are David. But in essence, we're really not. David is not us. David is more so Jesus. He's the one who comes and slays our giants. Now, we can personally slay our own giants, but we cannot do that without Jesus. So, um, I just, I like that she has this in a study form, and I love her books. I do have another one. Um, oh my gosh. It's called He's, He Calls You Beautiful, and it's a study of Song of Solomon, which is kind of like that romantic marriage kind of... Um, book in the bible so yes i'm excited for this i can't wait to dive in um and just to show you guys she plays no games with her um her books this is chapter nine it's called the secret weapon and this is about the psalms um so every page there's like scriptures every single page there's scriptures every single you think i'm playing scriptures like she is scripture heavy and i love it um but i love it more so because she asks his bible study questions so here's bible study nine and it's broken into five days, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me just check that. That is broken into five days. Yeah, so there's five days of questions and then prayer time. Um, but questions. Questions. And I mean, they're like application style questions and interpretation style questions where you actually read the scriptures for yourself and break it down. I love her books. I'm not going to read this one yet because I want to do He Calls You Beautiful. Like, I started He Calls You Beautiful with my sis Angela over at Transform Through God's Word. I, we never got a chance to finish that. Yeah. But, um, I don't know if I want to finish that first and then dive into this or dive into this first and then dive into He Calls You Beautiful. Don't know. But we have this book. It is available if you're interested in getting it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all the information down below. Alright, so the last few books are all, like, fiction-based books, and you guys know I love my books. Um, 
I'm a fiction lover. Behind me, behind this little sequence um, kind of backdrop is my bookshelf. Um, two bookshelves. And uh, there's a lot of books on my bookshelf. I don't think I've ever shown you guys like my actual like full bookshelves. I have four bookshelves. Five. Four, f five bookshelves in my room. Um, three big ones and two small ones. I got books on the floor right now. Mm, yeah, I like books. Um, I specifically love fictional books. I just, I love, I love reading fiction. And biblical fiction has definitely been one of those things that um, I am grateful that I found. Literally, I haven't read a lot of my secular books. And don't get me wrong, I still love reading secular books. But for the change that's getting ready to happen in my life, um, I've just been like real heavy into reading Christian nonfiction and Christian fiction books. That's just what I've been into. But I think a lot, I think all of these, except for two, are sort of biblical fiction books. Um, the other two are not. So, this first one, I actually have the other two books coming in the mail really soon. But um, it's called A Royal Dance, uh, The Lion and the Butterfly, book one. I don't know. If, um, I'm trying to remember. So, the book is called A Royal Dance, yes. And the series is called The Lion and the Butterfly, sorry. Um, and it's by Linda Fer Ferguson, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, and this was actually sent to me from the publishing company. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Buoyancy, that's what it says. Buoyancy Public Relations. They had contacted me on Instagram, um, and I have a few more books actually coming from them, as well as the other two books in the series. You can get these books off of Amazon. They're up there on Amazon. But um, yeah, I am actually excited to get into this. This is um, biblical fiction. But I don't even know how to... Ex okay, I'm just going to read the back of it, not all of it. But um, it says... Jer I'm probably butchering her name, but Jer Jerusha? Jerusha's father dotes on her and calls her royalty. A lioness who will one day dance before his king. She adores her father, but cannot tell him her darkest secret. Instead of dancing like other Jewish girls, Jerusha... I'm probably, I'm going to put her name on the screen because I'm probably butchering it. <laughs> but Jerusha sits alone, plagued by guilt for a crime she did not commit. Who will believe her story against the word of the most respected religious leader in Jerusalem? And it says, take an unforgettable journey on this first book of the Lion and the Butterfly series. Walk the dusty streets of the first century Jerusalem and discover the chrysalis of hope for a new beginning through faith in Yeshua. So, I'm excited. I'm not sure if this has to deal with rape. That is the only thing that I can think of. This talks about um, Herod and his palace, the Messiah. So I'm actually just excited to dive into this. Like I said, I don't know much about it. I don't, I'm going to go in blind because it sounds really, really good. And um, yeah. But the problem is I'm waiting to get the other two books because I want to sort of do a sort of like a reading blog video on it. So I'm waiting for the other books to come in the mail. But here it is. Here it is. And it's really, really pretty. First book. Okay, so the next book is one that I am so excited about. So, so excited about. Um, you guys have heard me rave about the first book in the series, the Cities of Refuge series. So many times, because I love me some Connie Lynn cassette. Between Tessa Afshar and Connie Lynn, my life. They, they have my life. Just, <laughs> anyways. So, I got my finished copy of Until the Mountains Fall, which is book three in the Cities of Refuge series. And uh, there's only one book left, and I'm so sad. I'm so sad for it to end now. This book I gave I think a 4 or 4.5 star because I wasn't as attached to Malachi. Is it Malachi? Yes, Malachi and Rivka. Just because they didn't have a lot of parts in the other two books. Though it was still good and though I did love it because they bought a character back from the first two books that I could not stand. And I kind of felt bad for him in this book and I kind of started to like him in this book. Even though he dies. So... Yeah, um, this book just a lot of emotions. Um, I did a reading blog. If you haven't seen that, you can click the eye on the screen for that. But this is book three in the cover. This might, I don't know if this is my favorite cover. Yeah, this might be my favorite cover. Um, I love the cover of the first book. I'm looking at it now. But the color is the purple with the blue and the teal. Oh, just stunning. So this is book three. Book two is Shelter of the Most High. And book one is A Light on the Hill. And here's how they look side by side. So uh, the cover for, I believe it's called Like a Flame in the Night, has been released. I'll put the photo here. I'm just interested to see what the spine is going to be for that color. Because these colors, uh, to die for. And um, it is biblical fiction. It focuses on fictional characters named Mariah and Derek, as well as their kids. Because they have a lot of kids. 
just i'm not gonna talk about it i've raved about this so many times a lot of you have gotten the book and read it either in paperback form or in ebook form and a lot of you guys are loving it when i say it's amazing it is amazing i would i listen when it comes to books i would never steer you guys wrong okay i would never and um a light on the hill really sparked an interest in me learning more about the cities of um, refuge and this one focuses on kadesh um, which is a city of refuge so amazing writing amazing author like i said i've read it already because i read the arc um of it for the the launch team but i will be rereading the physical form because i feel like it's lonely not being tapped up like these two books so yeah we have that book okay the next three books are all from angela hunt and from two different series so for angela hunt series um it's called the dangerous beauty series i've read the first and the third book the first book being um Esther Royal Beauty. I didn't own it, so I did pick it up from Thrift Books. Um, and Thrift Books is a great place to go if you are looking for inexpensive books. Um, a lot of the times they have good deals starting at like three ninety nine, so about four dollars, and um, they can go up to anywhere for like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. They do have free shipping over ten dollars, so you can literally snag about four books for ten dollars. Um, not ten dollars, like four books for maybe like fifteen or so dollars, um, and get free shipping. I love the website. I haven't shopped on there in a minute. I did that one big like biblical fiction book haul and that was it but i do plan to order again i did however order this off of amazon um their amazon kind of used book section and it came from thrift books so if you're interested in thrift books just go through amazon as well um don't remember the price on this but i believe this was marketed as like like new or something i don't remember what it was marketed as but i always get books that are very good or like new or new in the inexpensive kind of range that's just me but um yeah i got it because okay i read this book gave it four stars um but i just i didn't want to have the other two books and not the first book because they're really pretty do you see the cover really pretty and i just i love the pictures on the back so pretty um so i have this to go with the other two books so i'm get, gonna show you them now so the second book which is the only book i haven't read yet from this series is beth sheba this one is reluctant beauty green love it and here is what she looks like on the back cover and then you have my favorite cover of the entire collection i read this as well gave it four stars as well i think i gave it four or 4.5 but um delilah which is treacherous beauty this is the story of delilah and samson oh my gosh so good so good um but i don't know what it is angela hunt's books for some reason they get four stars out of me um and there's nothing wrong with four star ratings obviously um, that's still good. Four or five star ratings are great. But I want to find a book of hers that I can just, like, give a five star rating to. Like, wow. But, um, yeah. This is the third book. And I'm obsessed with this cover. Because the purple with the green eyes and the skin tone just slay me. Together, these books are stunning. I want to show. They're really pretty. Um, I'm just going to let you guys know now for the month of September... I'm going to be starting a series. I'm going to try to do two videos a month in the series, but it is going to be makeup related and um, I'm going to base, off, base them off of books, biblical fiction books specifically. Um, I don't know what I want to call it yet, but it is going to be a makeup series where I do an actual makeup tutorial here based off of one of these books and actually talking about the book. I know my sis started this on her channel stephanie you can go check out her channel i'll leave a I, you can click the eye on the screen to go to her channel i mean and um she did a get ready get ready with me video talking about one of joyce myers books and um i've always just wanted to do kind of like a book to makeup kind of look on my regular beauty channel but i figured why not do it on this channel because biblical fiction covers are freaking amazing like they're stunning stunning and i think i might start off with delilah just because i love the cover so much so yeah so i did purchase esther to just go with the entire collection like i said the other two books are also from angela hunt so i have her silent years series um i had the first and the third book if i'm not yeah the first and the third book the first book was egypt's sister and then the fourth the third book sorry was um jerusalem's queen which is literally my favorite cover in the series ever this is honestly what sparked my interest i might actually go with this one first um for a book to make up just it's so so stunning but i needed books two and four um book two i also got off of amazon through their marketplace so it's judah's wife 
got that and then book four was actually sent to me from bethany house for review and i'm like so so excited i love the cover of it it's the colors just scream at me and it's called the king's shadow um so yeah i now have all four of these i think the series is complete i don't know if there's a, i don't think there's a fifth book coming out and if i'm wrong i'll edit it and put it on the screen but i think it's only four books in this series don't quote me on that but these books are just i don't you guys can't tell me biblical fiction doesn't have the best covers ever with the colors and what i think it is is biblical fiction really knows how to slay using um real people as models and i'm gonna have a video coming soon um where i'm gonna talk about my top 10 Whew, we gonna pray my top 10 i was gonna do top five but i need to do top 10 um favorite biblical fiction covers because they slay my life they give me everything you guys and um these spines as well I know Jenna Van Maurick, she did a video um, sharing her favorite bookish spine, so I might do that on my channel as well. Um, it'll probably just be on biblical fiction, and then I might do one that's um, for like my Christian nonfiction, because some Christian nonfiction books have really pretty covers and spines. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I believe, uh, I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied. Click the eye on the screen <laughs> to go watch Jenna's video in which she shared, I think she did both her favorite um covers as well as her favorite spines like i said click the on the screen to see one of those videos but we have those and the last two books are both from bethany again but these are not christian um they're not biblical fiction they're more so suspense novels yes one is regular suspense the other one is marketed as like romantic suspense but they are christian fiction novels if that makes sense they're not biblical based but they're christian fiction hope that makes sense but this first one was actually a gift um I forgot what it was that they were doing. I think they were doing like um, a Q&A or something like that because I was a part of something. With, I can't remember you guys, honestly. But um, I was a part of something and they sent the newsletter out um, asking us to like their Facebook page. I think like their Instagram or something like that. It was a couple of things we had to do. And then once we did those, we could um, go to the forum, submit the form in and request one of four books that they had out. And um, I knew that they already... Two, both of these books actually were on that list, but I only picked this one, and it is actually book one in a new series. Um, it's called Storm Rising. It's the first book in the Book of the Wars by Ronnie Kendig, um, and it is marketed as suspense. I don't know much about it. I don't read many suspense novels, and I know that somebody asked me um, if I could review a lot more, like talk more about like my favorite suspense and thriller novels that are like Christian-based, and I'm not going to lie. I have a ton of... I'm going to show you my fictional Christian section one day um, after I organize it. Yeah, and wipe it down. Um, but I have a bunch of them. I just haven't gotten into reading them yet just because I'm so hooked on biblical fiction. So I'm actually excited to actually be building my kind of um, suspense thriller Christian fiction genre because I'm interested in actually doing that. So we have this. All it says is, does, an does an ancient book of prophecy hold the answers to saving the world or predict its destruction and it's about the old testament books um so yeah that's interesting this has to do with an, a former navy seal um person and it takes place in bulgaria and wow that seems like it's gonna be awesome i i don't know what it is but um there's something that i love about like bulgaria in those kind of places they just interest me a lot so I have this and I'm really excited to get into this oh gosh the font is small again I mean it's not super super small or maybe it's just the font style that they use I don't know the font kind of looks small to me but I think it's just the style of font they used yeah and um, I apologize about my nails my nails will be getting done um, I'm just I'm holding out so we get closer to the um, service because I don't want to get them done and they look ratchet for the service the service is next week on the 23rd i'm gonna try to vlog that day um or throughout that week i'm not sure if i can because i'm just gonna be like so into it but yeah um my nails are crazy right now but i will be getting them done next week i just don't know what day probably that friday which is the day of the service or that thursday but we're gonna get that done but yeah we have storm rising which i'm interested in oh that's nice i'm interested in reading this Okay, so the next book I'm, like, excited for because I love anything that deals with the BAU. I am a fan of Criminal Minds. I love watching NCIS. I love watching Law & Order, SBU, all of that. I I love shows like that. And Criminal Minds is one of those shows that, like, kind of freaks me out just a little bit because, you know, I, I like the way they really 
look into the minds of people but you know some of them episodes you just be like oh jesus mm -mm. let me pray for them I, some you you guys know what i'll be talking you know what i'm talking about but um yeah so this one is based off of that whole behavioral analysis thing so i'm i hauled this a while ago i haven't read it yet it's, I'm, I'm working on it but um it's called mind games and it's a part of the Ky kylie or kaylee quinn profiler this is book one by nancy yeah, mahel mel i i can never say her last name right i need to look up on youtube how to say her name properly but um this was the first book and it deals with fbi behavioral analysis kaylee quinn or kylie quinn don't know how to say her name um and then special agent noah hunter bau criminal minds vibes if you watch criminal minds you know what i'm talking about but um yeah it has to do with that and this one i think had to do with a serial killer um yeah this one dealt with a uh, infamous serial killer who was leaving poems like around and it had to do with kaylee i haven't read this book so i don't know much about it i'm gonna go into this line but then you have the sequel firestorm and they actually sent me this for review this is book two and that and um again this deals with kaylee and noah hunter and um yeah Mm -mm -mm. has to do with her brother i'm not gonna continue reading that because i don't know if it's gonna like spoil anything from the first book but yeah i will say i love these covers they're so like they're creepy they're creepy without being like horror type creepy like they definitely give off that suspense kind of vibe this one has like that fog with the bench in the park and this one just has like the fire you know but you know the little fire particles i don't know what they're called the embers if that's i don't i don't know but yeah, and it kind of looks like it's like snowing. So yeah, um, I'm excited to dive into both of these. But I really just, uh, yes, covers. But that is it for my haul, you guys. A little bit all over the place. I know you guys know. I'm, yeah. Um, I will be recording one more video in this outfit. But that video will be posted for the following Saturday. Um, and it's about an upcoming book club that Jennifer and Malrick and I'll leave. Like I said, I'll leave a link to her channel. You can click the eye on the screen. She started a book club and um i entered in for the giveaway won the giveaway so i'm gonna basically be doing a haul and talking about that book club with you guys so if you want to see that just stay tuned for that next week but um yeah other than that i'll see you guys in the next video bye